so if you listen to this video you will feel more confident you will feel more attractive and you will become more magnetic and make sure you take at least one of them if you take one of them i promise you you will already see a change so let's dive right into it you have to become very uninterested about what people say about you or what they think about you like you have to switch on the do not disturb button like you have to get to a point where people can say say whatever they want to say people can think whatever they want to think it is no longer your problem you have to literally get yourself out of the equation whenever they are talking whatever they are saying it does not say anything about you because it is not part of your reality you are not giving it your energy so they cannot feed of you and you have to stay very connected as to what life says about you and when you are connected to source to your true essence you always have a very high opinion of yourself whenever people are saying whatever they want to say well it cannot reach you because you are vibrating on a higher frequency when you are talking behind someone's back when you are judging someone when you are making fun of someone well you are vibrating on a very low frequency when you are only interested in what the universe and life says about you you are vibrating on a higher frequency those frequencies cannot match you really have to train yourself to no longer care and it is literally not that hard to be completely honest with you i have always had this attitude of not caring i remember even when i was younger my sister would always care me with be careful with what you do be careful with what you say because they're gonna create a reputation around you and i already couldn't give two more mm. so i couldn't care less about what people said what people thought and what i have noticed it is because i didn't care at all that people would be even more attracted to me people would talk a lot about me people have talked a lot about me since forever but i have always had this strength or maybe even not this strength but i just cannot feed it my energy i'm just so uninterested i think that the reason behind it is my mind is focused on my goals my dreams my vision and so when i wake up in the morning all my focus and my energy goes to where i want to go and therefore not caring is very easy when someone comes to you to tell you what they said about you you have to say no thank you and you have to be careful because a lot of people will come to you and say what someone else said about you simply to make you feel bad about yourself now all the things that you allow in your mind you can never erase them you actually listen to what someone said about you you cannot erase that anymore you have to be like the three monkeys i do not see anything i do not hear anything and i do not say anything you have to live for yourself you have to be so focused you really want to get to that point easily well you have to just take a few days for your yourself think of who you want to be in the future when you do that you have to get out of your mind when i started creating my vision the person that i was back then couldn't even imagine what i have right now and what i want in the future i cannot perceive it yet right now and therefore when you create your vision you have to take some time for yourself you have to isolate yourself from other people's limitations doubts and whatever you dream be meaning that you get outside of your mind and you have no limit limits as to who you can be and when you have created that it does something within you and it is not just me thinking that i actually also read the book the art of not giving a f i'm not sure if i can use those words that's why i'm always being very careful with my words people who genuinely do not care are people who have a purpose people who see what they want in the future they care about that their vision about where they want to go about what they want to accomplish in their life How how can you be interested in what people are saying about you right now if you are already working on becoming the next version of yourself? Now change your mind. If you would have told me when I was a little girl that I would experience things that I have experienced in my life, I would have never believed you. If you would have told me the things that I'm going to be capable of, the things that I'm going to go through and the things that I'm going to get through, I would never have believed you. Back then, I was a different person of who I am right now. And I had a different story that I was telling myself and I had a different perspective on life. I had to work so hard on my mind 
mindset to actually believe that I would be capable of doing something in my life. I grew up being told that I will never be able to do anything, that I wasn't smart, that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't all those things. I grew up hearing that on a daily basis. I am still working on my mindset every single day, absorbing new information, stretching my mind, try to get into someone else's mind who has accomplished everything that, that I want to accomplish because I am so committed in changing my mind. If you make it your daily job to invest so much in changing your mind, no matter what people are doing around you, start becoming aware of how you react. When do you start feeling down? Who are the people that make you doubt yourself? Who are the people that are stealing your energy? In the beginning, it's very uncomfortable to work on your mind because you feel like, oh my goodness, there is so much work that I have to do. To this day, I still have so much work to do on myself. I think that I'm never going to be done with working on myself. That's how much work I need to do on myself because you you see the mountain and you are there like, wow, like all the work that I'm going to have to do to close the gap between who I am right now and who I want to be there. But then it gets exciting. Then becoming uninterested in other people becomes natural. You are so focused on bettering yourself and it becomes addictive. All the habits you have right now, you can actually leave them behind. You do not have to take them with you in your new day. You actually have the choice right now to no longer be that person. Something that has made me so much stronger and more confident is to approach every day with the mindset of I want to collect rejections. I actually want to have people in front of me that will tell me that I'm not good enough. I want to have people in front of me that will laugh at my goals and visions. I want to use that feeling to actually feel even more confident about myself, to actually feel even better than enough. Go outside and I seek for the rejections. If I went through my day and I haven't had one person that has challenged me, then I feel like I played small in my day, that I didn't do enough. As long as you are sensitive as to a person who tells you that you are not smart enough, you are not good enough, well, it is very hard to become the best version of yourself because you take it very personal and then you accept it as your reality. But someone else's opinion of you doesn't need to be your reality. You can actually hear them and understand that they are projecting their own insecurity is upon you. What they are saying about you says more about them. When someone tells you you can't, what they are actually saying is I can't. When someone tells you you are not pretty enough, what they are saying is that a part of them doesn't feel pretty enough. This is why when you go outside, you have to build a strength within yourself that goes beyond someone touching you right there. The more conversations I have, the more I realize how insecure people are. Like people have never done the work to really get to know who they are. What what they want, who they want to be. And so when you are confident in who you are and when you have the courage to be who you are, well, you stand out because it is not a common thing. Especially as a woman, it is not a common thing because we have been programmed to already believe that we are less than men. Especially if you grow up with an unavailable dad or with an abusive dad, well, that has played even more on your self-image as a woman. You do the work to get to know yourself and to work through whatever you need to work in such a way that you become confident, you can get there if you are still afraid of other people rejecting you. You have to develop a warrior mentality. I always tell myself, I'm going to stand in first row. I want to be a warrior. I want to be challenged. You can only get there when you stop being afraid. When you realize that all your fears are only an illusion, that they are not true, no matter what your fears are, they are not true. They are only illusions and they are holding you back from you stepping into your potential. They are holding you back from you becoming who you want to be. That as long as you are not comfortable with people telling you no, with people telling you you are not pretty enough, you are not smart enough, you are not good enough, if you are not okay with that feeling, with going through that moment, it is very hard to step into the, the most confident version of yourself. You have to be so used with hearing no in such a way that you do not take it personal anymore.